Hey guys! So today I am going to be filming a haul. So a lot of these products I've had for a little while now and so I have used most of this stuff so I can kind of give my opinion on it as well. Um, the reason I have used it is because I've had it sitting here for a little while. I wasn't sure if I was ever going to film this or not so I did use this stuff but I decided I was finally going to film this. So let's get into it. So I have a mixture of some drugstore, some high end and then a couple different brands as well. Okay so first from the drugstore I picked up another one of the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind concealers. I love this concealer. I got it in fair. This is probably like my fourth or fifth one of these. Like I love this concealer. The consistency is really nice. The color works really well for me because it pretty much just matches my skin tone. So I've been using this kind of instead of a foundation. That's what I've been doing every day. That's what I have on today as well. It's just a lot easier than wearing a full face of heavy foundation. Then I got also another one of the Maybelline Fit Me Powders. This one is in 110 Porcelain, which is the shade of the foundation I use. I really like this powder and I have another one, but it's in my bag and I keep it in my bag for touching up. Because with this powder, it has a little... I'm going to blind you. It has a little holder under here for a sponge so instead of you know having to bring a brush with me in my bag to be able to actually use the powder and touch up with it it already has something in it so that's why I keep it in my bag it's perfect for that but I really like this powder I don't ever end up using it because it's always in my bag so I bought another one so that I can keep it in my vanity so I picked up three NYC concealers and two of them were the wrong ones so I've been really wanting to try the NYC liquid concealer because, oh my gosh, honestly, liquid concealer. <laughs> I've been really wanting to try the NYC liquid liner and I've heard a lot of people say it's really good and the one that I'm using right now is by Physicians Formula and it is like $18 whereas the NYC is like 4 so I would much rather... <laughs> pay the four dollars if this was really good so I wasn't sure which NYC concealer it was I'm gonna lose my mind I'm not sure what NYC liner it was when I was there so I just picked up the first liquid liner that I saw which was this one this is their high definition liquid liner and this one's like a felt tip and I wasn't sure if this was going to be it and when I got home I tried it out and I was like mm, no like it's not not the best you're not really going to be able to truly see here but it's not that pigmented I mean this can work for maybe just doing a I can't even talk I don't even know. this could probably work just for doing a simple eyeliner I probably would not use this for doing like my dramatic wing or anything just because it's not super dark and I don't know it's it's okay like once it dries it's okay but I've had better but I didn't return it because it was four dollars so I went back the next time to get it and I found it and this is the packaging for it so you can see the difference the issue with this one is it is their pearlized black so it kind of looks a little grayish and shiny, which is kind of where the pearl eyes comes in. Don't really like it that much. I don't think you can really tell much on camera. You can kind of see how it shines. Not what I was looking for. So I went back again, finally got the right one. So this is it. It's in extreme black. I've tried this out once and I can tell you it is very, very black. Like blacker than my physician's formula and it's very matte my physician's formula dries a little bit shiny and most liquid liners that I've tried are a little more shiny they don't really turn completely matte but this one was very matte and it was a little bit drying like I could tell I was wearing it so I don't know how I feel about that but it looked really nice so finally got it after three tries 
Um, also, I picked up the Essence Lash Princess Mascara. I can't remember who it was. Someone on YouTube was talking about this mascara and that they love it. So I decided to try it because it was only $4. And I'm not... I don't know. I don't know if I'm totally like in love with it. I did use it today. I did two coats with it. When I first got it, I didn't really like it because it would get very, very clumpy after even just one coat and one coat just wasn't enough for me but I started using it um, with my rim no what's it called L'Oreal lash sensational and it looked really good like that so I tried it alone today and I do like it but when I use it with the uh, L'Oreal one it kind of unclumps the lashes almost and kind of separates it more and they end up looking a lot more fluttery whereas today they do look a little clumpy in some areas and I don't really like that so I mean for four dollars I don't regret it but it's not a newfound love of mine I might repurchase it because I do like it I just don't like using it alone so I don't know we'll see I'm kind of on defense about that the last thing I got from the drugstore is this little eco tools travel brush set First of all, I love this little bag that it came in. It's so cute. It's like a ombre. Very cute. And I got this for a set that you'll see once I show the rest of my stuff. I've been really into touching up my makeup during the day. But I hate having to take like my blush, my bronzer, my highlight, and then all the blushes. Mm, my goodness. I hate having to take my blush and bronzer and highlight and then all the brushes to go with it and put it all in my bag because it ends up taking a lot of room so I decided to get some little smaller size items which you'll see after and some little tiny travel size brushes to go with it so this set came with four brushes it has like two eye brushes and then two bigger face brushes so you get this little angled brush and then you get this little guy which I don't know you could use this for the crease or something then there's mainly I got it for these two brushes there's this one here which is smaller than this one it's a little bit more dense and it's quite small on the sides so this one I would probably use for uh, applying highlight possibly blush if I want to and then this one which just kind of looks like a smaller uh, powder brush this is what I would use for doing bronzer the brushes are really nice they feel really soft and nice they work well and I like that it's a nice travel size to have in my purse it definitely takes up a lot less room than what I was doing before okay so that is all that I picked up from the drugstore now moving on to high-end I will go through the different brands first and then I'll do Sephora last because I got most of the stuff from Sephora. So first I have the RCMA No Color Powder. This became really, really popular when Kathleen Lights talked about it. And it's, I actually, I love it. My grandma actually bought this for me. Thank you, grandma. I, I love it so much. I don't know why I love it, but I really do. It just, it feels really nice on the skin. It makes my skin look really nice. A problem I have with baking is that I usually would use the Laura Mercier one. So yeah, this is the universal one, not the one that everybody else uses because they were sold out. So I decided to try this one and the lady there said they're pretty much the exact same thing. But when I use that one, my skin tends to look really dry and like if I have any dry patches there, they really cling to it. Whereas this one just really looks good. You can tell I've used it. I feel like the only thing I don't really like is the packaging. I feel like I end up wasting a lot of product with this because I've only used this three times and like I definitely did not use that much product. So I feel like, I don't know, I feel like I wasted a lot of product. But it was only $12 which I think is a good price for the amount you get. This is 3 ounces, this one's only 0.40 ounces and this is $48 I think so yeah. Yeah, I've been really, really liking this. I see why it's really raved about now. And I'm really happy that I was able to get my hands on it. It's been sold out ever since Kathleen Lights talked about it in her video. Okay, so next, I bought a new palette from Morphe. This is their newest one. It's the 35F. Where is it? Yeah. Um, 
this came out I don't know came out a couple weeks ago no, not a couple weeks it probably came out like a month ago I honestly haven't used it very much I think I've used it like three or four times I really really like the colors in here if you want to see swatches check out my Instagram I'll leave it down below it is the my makeup Instagram not my main one but yeah so this is the packaging which very classic for Morphe and then here is the palette and the colors super pretty I love the color selection in here you get a lot of like purples and pinks and then you get some more golds you get some more light shades in here so I really like it and then this whole row down here is matte the pigmentation of this is like insane like this palette's only $22 I think it's 22 but the pigmentation is honestly like some of the best shadows that I've swatched like it's insane how good they are so I have two on my hands I'll do one quick swipe like are you kidding me those are so amazing Morphe shadows honestly they are they are amazing for the price like the fact that you get 35 eyeshadows and it's only 20 something dollars like that's an amazing price like it's so so pigmented so yeah I really 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 like the palette I just have not gotten to use it as much because I've bought in, I've had quite a bit of eyeshadow and I've also not been wearing a lot of eyeshadow lately so yeah but I really like this I actually did film a tutorial using it and it was supposed to be going up today but I lost some of the footage to it I don't know where it went I can't find it so I'm either going to refilm it or just not do it I don't know we'll see how I feel I didn't really like how the look turned out anyways it was it was okay but I wasn't like in love with it so I might refilm it and try a different look but we'll see okay so then I also got two items from Mac the first thing is the Mac prolong paint pot in soft ochre I've been wanting to get their paint pot for a long 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 time but I don't know when it comes to Mac I just don't feel very intrigued with their stuff I don't know what it is but I really just don't buy from Mac very much I have very little Mac items I think I have like only four items from Mac I just I don't know I don't really go in there much but I've been wanting to try this for a long time finally I got it and I love it I definitely use this quite a bit so it is their like more yellowy toned one I love it though it's very very soft and creamy which I wasn't really expecting I don't know I was thinking it's gonna be really dry because it's like in a pot but it's very creamy it works really really well for priming the eyes so I've been really enjoying this I'm glad that I finally purchased it the other thing I got from Mac is their their 15 cool neutral palette my parents actually bought this for me when they went to Vegas. Um, I was asking them to get me another one of the Lorac palettes because they don't sell Lorac here in Canada, which like is so stupid. I don't understand why. So they got me the Lorac Pro, like the first one last year. So I asked them to get me another one this year, but the place that they went to, they couldn't find one. So they let me pick through a couple palettes and I got the MAC one. Because, first of all, I don't have any MAC shadows. So, I was really excited to be able to try them. And this palette's expensive. So, I didn't have to pay for myself. So, I'm happy about that. So, this is what it looks like. I've used it a lot. It's really, really pretty. I don't know. The camera's kind of... There you go. It's really pretty. I actually really, really enjoy this. It's pretty... Like, it is neutral, like it says. But I, every time I do a look with this, I really, really like the way it turns out. It has a good range of mattes and then more kind of slightly shimmery. There's none that are like super metallic-y looking. But they are really nice. So here's just one swatch here. I love that one. The other one that I really, really like is this one. Honestly, I'm not really... I've never really been impressed with MAC shadows. I don't know if it's just me. I feel like I'm the only one who's not a huge fan of them. But every time I've gone into the store and actually swatched them, I feel like they're not that good. 
like I've definitely felt better shadows and but everybody talks about these being like their favorite shadows so I don't know I feel like I'm missing something but I do really really like this palette but again there is some shades in here that are kind of inconsistent and not as good they take a little bit more work to use but overall, I do really love this palette. It's quickly become one of my everyday palettes. Okay, so now moving on to the stuff that I picked up at Sephora. I have quite a few in here. So I have 200 point perks that I got. This is the Hourglass Ambient Light Correcting Primer. This is not worth 100 points. Like honestly, when I first got this, I was trying to see how much is in here. First of all, this is tiny, tiny, tiny. But then you actually try squeezing out product and there's only about this much product in here. I'm not even kidding. Like I had to squeeze, 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 squeeze for anything to come out. So very disappointed that I actually spent 100 point perks on that. That was not worth it. This one though is really good. This is a Bite Beauty Matte Lip Crayon. And this one is in Glace. I think that's how you say it. It's like a deep kind of... Ugh purpley mauvey color the sap the size of it's really nice that's just the packaging of it and then here's the color I don't have a lot from by beauty I only have one of their new uh, lipsticks but I'm obsessed with it so I really want to try more this would be a really really pretty color for fall time that's it right there super smooth honestly like I'm obsessed with by beauty now I need to go buy a whole bunch of their lipsticks so this one is a really good 100 point perk. I got one skincare item. This is the Origins Original Skin Retexturizing Mask with Rose Clay. Um, I have quite a bit of texture on my skin like right in this area and highlighter definitely emphasizes that. And it kind of has been driving me nuts so I wanted to find something to help get rid of that and when I was at the Sephora I was asking a couple ladies their opinions what to get one of them recommended this and I like this option because it's a mask so I can kind of do this whenever I feel like I don't have to you know stick to a really strict routine of doing it every day or something like that I can just do it whenever I have the time and I've actually noticed that I mean, I have not really stuck to doing this. I've only done it like once every couple of weeks. I've been really bad with it. But I have noticed that it's made the texture smaller in some areas. Like after a couple uses of this, I did notice that my texture was smaller. Nothing has like really disappeared yet, but it has kind of gotten smaller. So it is doing something. I just kind of need to stick to doing it a little bit more. I got... A repurchase. This is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. I love this. This is my favorite, favorite concealer. Like, I love this so, so much. This is my second one. It's amazing. It's so amazing. It's creamy. It's smooth. It's doesn't crease on me at all. I love the color of it, too. It's, like, perfect color for me. Just everything about this concealer is so, so, so nice. I, I love it. So yeah, that's a repurchase. And then I picked up one of the new Urban Decay Vice lipsticks. I'm obsessed with this. I got mine in Unicorn and it's a comfort matte. I'm so obsessed with this. Like, oh my goodness. This is the packaging, which is so adorable. I love it. It kind of reminds me of like a bullet. It has that gunmetal look to it. And then this is the color. It's so pretty. I love it. It's kind of like a peachy nude color. I don't know if it's coming up really true to color on camera. It's a little more peachy than it is showing up, but I'm obsessed with it. And I really like the formula. It's very pigmented and it is matte, but it feels nice on the lips. The only thing I do notice with it is it kind of emphasizes my lip lines a little bit more. So usually I've been putting just a little bit of gloss over top of it, but I really love that color. And then I also picked up the Too Faced Glitter Glue. First of all, packaging is adorable. I picked this up because I did um, order some glitters off of this site, and I am going to be doing a... Oops, I dropped it. I am going to be doing a review slash unboxing on it. So 
I picked up some glitter glue. Okay, now for the big items. First, I got, get rid of some stuff. The Sephora Favorites Bronze Bears All set. This is the first Sephora Favorite set I've got and I actually love it. It was my grandma who got this first and um, I had to show her how to use some of the things and I started like showing her and I was falling in love with everything so I bought my own. I really like it. It comes with three full size products here and then it has five deluxe size products here. So I'll take everything out and kind of show you guys really quickly. I don't want to make this too long. So there, this is the Vita Liberata. La, 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 I don't know. Um, this is the Luxury Tan Mousse. Um, I haven't used this. I was really wanting to self tan and kind of like, I don't know. I'm kind of not into it now. I feel like it's gonna be so much upkeep and this is like $60 so I was glad to get the sample to try it out but I don't think I'm gonna tan now so I probably won't even end up using that then it comes with Becca opal and oh my god I'm obsessed with it first of all cutest little size ever I got this set also to have this and the bronzer which I'll show next in my purse which is also why I got this little brush set Oh, opal is so beautiful I always thought opal was going to be too dark for my skin tone so I've never really picked it up but it's beautiful I kind of want to get the full size now but I feel like I don't need it since I have this but then like if I keep this in my bag I don't end up using it so like I'm kind of in a dilemma as to if I should put this in my vanity or just keep it in my bag it's gorgeous though I love it then next I have NARS Laguna, which NARS Laguna is my favorite bronzer. I have this in the full size. I've hit pan on it. I love it. So I felt like this was perfect to have in my bag since it is my all-time favorite bronzer. It will not let me down. Love it so much. And it's a cute little size. Like, I love little sample sizes. There's this Tarte Park Avenue Princess lipstick. Oh my goodness, how cute is that? It's so tiny. It's a very, very sheer color and it's very glossy looking, but I really like, oh my goodness, I'm just dropping everything. I really like having this for in my purse for, you know, if I'm out or whatever and I didn't put lipstick on and I feel like I need some color to my lips, I have something that's sheer enough that I don't need to be really precise and have to like do lip liner and make sure it's all perfect. This I can just really quickly slip on and it'll give some color to my lips it'll make them look nice but it's really easy to apply and there's this little sample of formula x nail polish in revved up i love this i've never tried formula x nail polish because like i'm not into paying whatever amount of money for a nail polish like i buy the cheapest ones possible but this color is so beautiful it is like a rose gold and it's very very shimmery I'm in love with this color. I have to do my nails with it. I did it once, but then I took them off, so I need to redo them. And then for the three full size, we have a Air Minerals Marvelous Moxie Lip Gloss in Trail Blazer, which is just like a peachy color with a bit of shimmer to it. These kind of remind me a lot of the Buxom ones. Like they have that same tingly um, feeling to them. The pigmentation is like the same where it's kind of sheer it's not like overly pigmented like the Anastasia ones are and it has the same kind of formula as well I actually really like this lip gloss though and it smells nice and minty then you get a Smashbox always sharp waterproof coal liner this is in Penny Lane it's a really pretty color but I typically don't use um, these types of liners only in my waterline and this doesn't really work very well for my waterline that's it right there you can tell it's like a deep brown looks like it has kind of a coppery shimmer to it almost it's actually really pretty I just I don't know I don't know if I'll end up using this very much I've tried it in my waterline and it just does not last very long and that's typically all I use like uh, pencil liners for so we'll see I'll have to try to use that more the last thing in here is the Laura Mercier caviar stick in copper this is gorgeous I would have never discovered it if it wasn't for this box but oh my god so it's basically like a cream eyeshadow in a stick 
and it's just a beautiful really metallic looking gold I don't know if, how to show this you can see it there it's so so beautiful I really like this I used it it lasted really long it looked beautiful really good so I really enjoyed this set if it's still available I would totally recommend getting it I think it's really worth the money to be honest okay moving on so I picked up the benefit Chicathon palette I've had this for a while now I'm obsessed with it I love it and this is like so worth the money like let me let me see hold on no it doesn't say well you get five full size products in here and this is I don't remember how much this was but it was a good deal for getting five full size products so you get Dandelion, Hula, Rockator, Coralista, and Dallas. I already have Hula and Coralista, but it was still worth it to get the other threes because it would have been cheaper doing it this way than getting the boxes. And to be honest, I'm not a huge fan of the boxes just because they take up a lot of room. But oh, this palette, it's so cute. First of all, like look at the packaging. It's adorable. And you get five full-size products. I'm, I love it. I really am in love with Rockator and Coralisa and Dandelion and Dallas. Basically, I love them all. Like, honestly, they're really, really pretty. I've been mixing Rockator and Coralisa, and that's what I've been wearing for blush a lot recently. I've been kind of going back and forth between that and the Too Faced, one of the Too Faced Love Flush Brush. Blah, 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 blah. Love Flush Blushes. That's, that's a mouthful to say. But this is so worth the money. I don't know if this was limited edition. I think it was. I'm pretty sure it is. But if you can get it, if it's still available, get it. Because it's so worth the money. Especially if you don't have any of these and you've been wanting them, get this. Like, it's adorable. Okay. Next, I was very excited about, I got the Jaclyn Hill and Becca face palette. I got this when it, like first came out so this was quite a while ago oh my god I love it I love Jaclyn Hill she's like she's my idol I love her so I had to buy it and the packaging looks like that super super cute it feels really really nice as well and then you open it up and I'm gonna cover that you get two highlighters okay I don't know how to cover it you get two highlighters and three blushes so this one is Champagne Pop, which I already have in the compact compact blah, 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 compact size as well. Then this one is, uh, what is this? Prosecco Pop, which is her new one. Then this one is Rose, Rose Spritz. Then we have Amaretto, Amaretto, I don't know. And then we have Pamplemousse. I'm not a huge fan of the blush colors personally. I don't really... I don't know. I just don't really like the way they look on me, but I really love, I really like the highlighters. It's beautiful. So I'll show you guys Prosecco Pop because that's the new one. I'm sure everyone has already seen Champagne Pop, but there it is. You can't even really see. My hands have swatches all over them. Okay, I'll kind of compare Champagne Pop and Prosecco Pop. Okay, there we go. So you can see this one here is Prosecco Pop and then we have Champagne Pop. So this one's very gold compared to Champagne Pop. Now with the Champagne Pop, like when they first came out, I bought it right away because I love Jaclyn Hill. I was like, oh my god, yes, I have to get it. And I didn't really like it. It came out, I think it was like in December that it came out and I was pale as hell because it was winter time. So it did not look good on me, like it was too dark for my skin, but I wear it now and I'm in love with it. I've been wearing it so much. I actually have it on today, but I mix it with another highlighter. But I love Champagne Pop. Anyways, back to the palette. This palette's really, really beautiful. The blushes are beautiful as well. It's just I don't, they're not really colors that I reach for, I guess you could say. But they are still beautiful. Okay, so yeah, that's the that's the palette. I I do really like it, and it's beautiful packaging, beautiful products, really good job. Moving on, 
So this is the last thing. This is the new Anastasia Glow Kit in Sum Dipped. Well, I guess it's not new anymore because they're coming out with another two. Which I'm like, oh my god, because I thought this was going to be the last one. I have all three of them. And now I'm going to have to buy the next one because I'm like collecting them. But I love this one. This one's my favorite out of the three. It's so pretty. So here are the shades. We have, I guess I'll hold it this way. We have Summer, Moonstone, Tourmaline, and Bronze. This is the reason I bought it. Like this is, this highlight is so pretty. And I have nothing like this. I've never seen a highlighter like this either. It's gorgeous. I need to swatch on my other hand. I'll swatch all of them for you guys because, oh my god. I just have everything everywhere right now. Okay, so there is the swatches. We have Bronze, Summer, Moonstone, and Tourmaline. Oh, it's so beautiful. The Anastasia Glow Kits are amazing. Like, the pigmentation, the quality, everything about it is so amazing. They look beautiful on the skin. And they're only $52 Canadian for four highlighters, whereas one Becca is $46, I think. Like, are you kidding me? Beautiful. This one's definitely my favorite. It's just so pretty. The only thing about it is when I wear it on my skin, it gives me a weird shadow. So I kind of have to mix it with other ones so that it kind of overpowers that shadow. Because if I were to wear it alone, like if I turn in certain lighting, I'm going to have a weird, dirty looking shadow on my face. That's the only thing I don't like about it. But the color's beautiful. I love this. I love all of them, but this one's my favorite just for this shade specifically. Okay. That is it. That's all for my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, what do I need to say? I have a couple videos in mind coming soon. Probably some tutorials. And then, like I said, I will be doing a review on those glitters. So, make sure that you subscribe so that you can get notified when I post new videos. Thank you guys for watching. It really means a lot to me. And I hope to see you guys next time. Bye.